Good morning, everyone. What a wonderful crowd. Those of you in the back, if you want to press forward, we've got some room on either side so that you can really see. If I can't see you, you can't see me, right? Isn't that the rule? Um, welcome, everyone, to this momentous occasion for Northeastern University and for our athletic and recreation program. Thank you all for being here. We very much appreciate it. I'd like to begin by acknowledging a few people in the room. First and foremost, our president, Joseph Ayun, who leads us in all aspects of Northeastern University. You'll hear from him in just a bit. And I'd also like to acknowledge Peter Roby and thank him for his leadership. There you are, Peter. Peter, would you stand up while I embarrass you just a moment? As you can hear from the applause, the whole community would like to thank you for your leadership of Northeastern Athletics. And for the past decade, you along with a very dedicated group of coaches and staff have led this university program to a new level. Peter will continue his impact through our educational programs and those sponsored by the NCAA by building the next generation of leaders in collegiate sports. He'll also continue to be an industry leader, a strong and passionate voice for sports as a part of the college experience versus the commercial enterprise. Peter will leave an indelible impact on this university and the field of intercollegiate athletics. From the bottom of my heart, Peter, thank you. It's been a great journey together for your many years of commitment. Thank you. Now it's with great excitement and pleasure that I'm able to announce, announce Jeff Konya as Northeastern University's next Director of Athletics and Recreation. Jeff's first official day will be on February 1st and his appointment follows a comprehensive and exhaustive, exhaustive search for leadership of our uh, university programs. Jeff, Jeff has proven himself to be a skilled and effective leader, most recently at Oakland University, where he has led the athletic program to unprecedented success, including capturing the league trophy uh, for all sports the last three consecutive years. Jeff is a leader who understands the collegiate athletic landscape and who supports student athletes and their well-being. Northeastern, Jeff also embraces Northeastern University's mission and values and has a clear vision for the future of our athletic program. Jeff is widely acknowledged as a leader in collegiate sports. This past March, he was selected as the Under Armour Athletic Director of the Year by the National Association of College Directors of Athletics. Prior to Oakland, Jeff served as the AD for Cal State Bakersfield and before that the AD for Northeastern State University. He also served in leadership positions at SMU, Memphis, Bucknell, and the University of Texas San Antonio. Jeff completed his Juris Doctorate at the University of Iowa and earned his bachelor's degree from Princeton University where he was a student athlete. As Northeastern's Director of Athletics and Recreation, Jeff will oversee 18 intercollegiate sports as well as a comprehensive club and intramural program that engages thousands of students and our campus recreation program that, uh, that serves the entire community. Jeff will join an accomplished group of coaches and staff to even further enhance our commitment to academic and athletic success. We are tremendously grateful to the members of the search committee, and I see a number of them in the room today. I want to um, give them a shout out and my deep thanks for what was an exhaustive review process, including Parker Executive Search, who was our consultant. At this time, let me turn the, pi the mo podium over to our president, Joseph Ayun. Thank you, Philly. 
good morning, everyone. Uh, let, let, I mean, we can do better. We, we have a new AD, let's impress him. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, that's much better. Uh, first, uh, welcome to uh, this great event. I want to acknowledge uh, Billy Carter here, Trustee Carter. I know that uh, you wanted to be uh, a player again, and that's your opportunity. Lobby the AD. We, we can have you back, Billy. Uh, <clears throat> also, I, you know, we are, next month we're going to have a special event to acknowledge Peter Roby. But let me take this opportunity to thank him again for his great leadership, also for uh, his commitment to this university. Peter, it is a pleasure to work with you. You're going nowhere. You're staying here as an educator. So I love that. I love that. So, well, you know, and also not only are we going to tell your wife, but we love the fact that you know, your son also graduated uh, from Northeastern, so he's a true Northeastern person, and we love what you're, what you're doing and continue your educational mission uh, here. So I will have to say more about Peter uh, next time, but uh, Philly already stole my thunder as usual. So, <clears throat> you know, let, let me tell you how pleased I am to uh, introduce uh, uh, Jeff uh, to uh, all of you. During the interview process, it was clear to me and to all of us and to the search committee that I want to thank that we have a person who is entrepreneurial, who is innovative, who wants to win, but also who wants to focus on academic excellence. As a matter of fact, when I asked Jeff, why do you want to join Northeastern? And he said, it's very simple. I want to be in a place that values academics and values winning. And that is what we are expecting from you, Jeff, and we're delighted to have you here. Now, <clears throat> Jeff, what I would like you to do is come close to me because I have gifts for you. <laughs> we always start with gifts, and the gifts get bigger and bigger with, you know, over the years. So first, <clears throat> before we do that, let me mention that this is a cool guy. Show them the socks. Okay, so what, what is this? Oh, well, I was going to keep it up. <laughs> okay, good. So why did you choose to wear socks? Oh, you have to have strong sock game, you know, when you're giving an interview, and, and that is the Northeastern Red. So now I feel confident in my, my talk. Okay. Now I want to, t to share with you a secret. When we interviewed him, when we interviewed <laughs> Jeff, what were you wearing? Uh, Christmas socks. Christmas socks. Yeah. He pretended they were Christmas socks. They were red, too. Mm. So without further ado, let me start with the gifts. This is the jersey number one, the basketball. <clears throat> and I want to tell you, when I started here at Northeastern, they only gave me one gift. So you get two. I That's don't good. understand why. That's good. I, I only got this one. I'm not going to re-gift it either. <laughs> I'm going to keep these. <laughs> this for you. Oh, Let's, perfect. So let's let hold them both. See this? Thank you. <laughs> Jeff, welcome to Northeastern, and we're, I'm Thank looking you. forward to working with you for years to come. You got Take it. Care. Well, I'm proud to be here today, uh, standing before you, and I want to give a special shout out of thanks to those that are listening in and watching on Facebook Live. I can honestly tell you I've never been on Facebook Live, so I hope this goes well. Um, I want to thank uh, President Naoun uh, for this tremendous opportunity to lead Intercollegiate Athletics Recreation Program here at such a dynamic institution. I also want to say thank you to uh, the search committee and all those that I encountered here on campus through this process. A special thanks to Philly Mantella and uh, her leadership through that process. It was, it was tremendous, great facilitation. And speaking of the process, I do want to thank Daniel Parker Jr. and Hayden Garrett of Parker Executive Search. Uh, they were first class in terms of the facilitation of the process. Uh, and that's why, probably why they have such a great reputation within our industry. Um, and while I'm giving thanks, and everybody has been thanking Peter Roby, I want to thank Peter Roby too. 
I want to thank Peter because he's established a tremendous foundation for Northeastern athletics. He's a very respected individual within the intercollegiate athletic space. Uh, I can tell you that um, he comes from a place where the value propositions are in order. He values the academic part of the student athlete equation. He put in uh, very principled leadership in terms of the development of student athletes uh, to become better individuals, better citizens when they depart Northeastern. And he focused on leadership as a guiding principle. In a lot of ways, I tried to emulate Peter's uh, model at Oakland University. Um, and before I uh, go any farther, I do want to step away from Northeastern and acknowledge uh, my colleagues back at Oakland University. Um, you know, they say that people define places, or I say that people define places. And Oakland University has some of the finest people that I've encountered um, in their collegiate athletics and at a university. I want to say special thanks to my staff, the coaches, the student athletes there. Uh, they were tremendous, and we built a very enticing and engaging culture together, one that led to unprecedented success both in the classroom and in the fields of competition. Uh, Oakland University is a special place, um, and I will hold it in that kind of regard moving forward. Uh, I know that they're positioned for greater success, but I did want to thank my former employer, Oakland University. So that brings me to the seminal question of why Northeastern? Why am I standing here before you? Uh, and to answer that question, uh, the first, my first response to that is Northeastern University, the DNA of what is here, uh, the past 20 years of the success, this meteoric rise in the rankings, setting up a co-op network with over 3,000 associations across all the continents, uh, having a physical presence in several cities through advanced learning and, and a commitment to lifelong learning. Um, selectivity in terms of the admissions, uh, growth in terms of all of these rankings. That just doesn't happen. That is a story of success. That is a forward-moving organization, and that's something that I'm energized to be a part of. In a lot of ways, I think that athletics can emulate the broader university. I think in the next 15 to 20 years, we can also have a meteoric rise, built upon the outstanding foundation that Peter and his staff have left to work with. But there's no question in my mind that within the DNA of Northeastern, that same DNA can be replicated within the intercollegiate athletics and recreation space. With that in mind, Northeastern, I was attracted to Northeastern because those of you that know who I am know that I am a very innovative, out-of-the-box thinker, but also a strategic planner. In order to have those kind of accomplishments for the for Northeastern University the last 20 years, I imagine those are some of the same characteristics that went into the aforethought to get to the place where Northeastern is in such high regard these days. Philosophically, Northeastern is a match for me as well. I value organic relationships. Um, I, in terms of that, I know that the intercollegiate athletic department and the recreation, I value the students in all the club sports, but also the student athletes, intercollegiate athletics, the staff and the coaches, to have real authentic relationships. And in doing that, I am very committed to the family feel of running an organization. That's what I perceive Northeastern to have. And that's also what attracted me so that I can continue to develop those relationships and we can move forward collaboratively together. And then again, those of you that know me, why Northeastern, there's two tenants that I have. The first tenant is that I want to leverage strengths. I want to go from good to great. And I want to account for all of our opportunities. So from going to good to great in strengths, there has to be some strengths that attracted me to this particular position. And that's true both from an athletic side and a university side. I think in terms of athletics, there's a 100-year history of success, and these stories need to be told, retold. There's current success stories going on right now that need to be told. I think in terms of where Northeastern is positioned within conference affiliations and its reputation regionally are all things that can also be leveraged. The university, I already mentioned, in terms of the co-op and the physical presence all across North America and this high selectivity of its class coming in, that dynamic academic learnings that are going on within all these walls and all the other walls. So I, my question then is, 
as intercollegiate athletics, how can we help the broader university in terms of the branding and image? What stories can we tell? How can we conduct our business so that we can also, as a front porch, one of the front porches of the university from a marketing perspective, how can we be of value? How can we provide value to the broader university in terms of telling the athletic stories, these compelling stories that are going on each and every day? And then in terms of opportunities, well, you guys know about secret shoppers, right? Where you, you kind of go in and you go in disguise, maybe like Rachel Marx or something. Well, I, I, yesterday, I, uh, I went to the women's hockey game here. Uh, it was Huskies against Huskies, so the Huskies won. And uh, the Northeastern Huskies won uh, 42. Now, I didn't wear the Groucho Marx, Marx outfit, but nobody knew who I was, so I just kind of sat there and took that game in. And what was apparent to me is that there are some opportunities for advancement. There's some opportunities for growth within how we conduct our business in intercollegiate athletics. I thought the game presentation was great. Can I pause? You were there. <laughs> but I also think that we can also create a dynamic atmosphere. I think that we can work on our attendance. I think that we can work on an in-game entertainment of value that's going to appeal to the broader fan base, engage the students. I also think from a branding and marketing perspective, we can also, you know, maybe, maybe kick it up a level. And that's kind of what my career has been defined on with these marketing and branding principles. So I think one of my strengths that can add value to a current opportunity that exists within the intercollegiate athletic space. And so what, what is Jeff Coney? How, how does he lead? What, what, what are you going to come to find out in terms of Northeastern athletics and the broader university? Well, I'm, I'm a very collaborative individual. I, uh, I don't like silos. I don't like silos operating within the department or any department. I don't like silos outside of the department. I'm going to do my best to be very transparent in our operations so that everybody understands where intercollegiate athletics is, what our position is, and hopefully that we can have and engage in a conversation that's going to yield better results. With that, I also believe in providing a first-class experience. When I do things or when we're going to do things, we're not going to take shortcuts. It's going to be first-class all the way around, or else we're not going to do it. The other thing is that I'm committed to the student-athlete experience and welfare. I'm committed to the student welfare for the Recreational Sports Club in Intramurals. I'm committed to these things as a driver of how we evaluate decision making. It is prominent in my decision matrix that the voice of the student athletes and the students are present as we are making decisions with respect to how their experience is going to be shaped. You know, I had a mentor of mine who I respect a lot, um, Steve Orsini. He was the AD at SMU when I was there. And he had an old adage that he said, I spell fun, W-I-N. Steve was a Notre Dame guy. I'm a Princeton guy. I spell fun, F-U-N. But what I can tell you, what I can tell you is that it is a whole lot more fun when you're winning. And to come up with a strategic plan based on the success and the infrastructure here is going to be fun and is going to yield wins. There is no question in my mind that the success that the broader university has can't be replicated in the intercollegiate athletic space in terms of competitive success across a multitude of platforms where the student athletes and the students are competing. In order to do that, we are going to attract the highest quality student athlete that we can. And based off of our foundation and based off of where we're going to go together, we are going to attract the best of the best. With that, I want to tell you that I'm very thankful to be here, to be your new Director of Athletics and Recreation. I'm excited. I'm ready to get going. So without further ado, let's get going. I know I did well. Pause gave me the thumbs up. So, with that, I'm going to open it up for any questions from the uh, press or the audience. Oh. 
Jeff, what was the biggest lesson you learned at Oakland University that you'll be carrying with you here to Northeastern? Uh, that people make places, um, that you can accomplish great things when you have a singular mindset and vision, and then when you have buy-in from, from folks. Um, I think that's the biggest lesson is we had a very special group of individuals that believed in what we were doing, continue to do so, and when you have that, that's a special ingredient for success. Hi, Jeff. Welcome. Um, can you just talk a little bit about what, um, what are the factors that drive your passion and have driven and continue to drive your passion in leading, uh, leadership in collegiate athletics and that will carry over here at Northeastern? I, I really like people when they say that you can't accomplish this. Um, I'm negatively internally motivated. When people say that you can't do something is when um, the hair on my back, or well, not hair on the back, but hair on my neck, uh, <laughs> hair on my neck kind of kind of tweaks up a little bit, um, and I say no. That's what we're going to strive for. And I, I have an internal saying that I strive for perfection and will settle for excellence. And when I put strategic plans, I'm not envisioning coming in second place or third place. We're 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 envisioning being a difference maker and coming in first place. So I think that. That's the lesson I learned, is that you can never compromise your value structure, but you can never compromise your objectives either. Thank you. Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Great job. And welcome to Northeastern. There's a reception over in the back um, that I invite you all to get to know Jeff a little bit individually. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>